The self-harm storyline has been a huge thing, uh, nominated for awards and everything. Um, where's it going to go next? Like, we kind of, it got left alone a bit. Do you think it still forms part of the characters, particularly Lily? Yeah, I think it's self-harm is always going to be a part of Lily. It's something that she's never going to forget about. But at the minute, you know, she's she's married, she's happily in love at the minute, so... She's trying to move on, isn't she? Yeah. She's trying to get past her struggles that she's currently faced, but I think self-harm will always stay with the character, always be an underlying in thought with the character. Yeah. Is that the message you want to send out, really? Like, you know, you can... doesn't solve itself overnight, but you can, you know, with support, you can you can kind of move on? Yeah, well, the Lily storyline, it was all about talking to people and not hiding all your feelings. So that's what we've been trying to reach out to people, not to, you know, hide under that filter. Yeah, the, me the message, the whole point of the self-harm storyline was talking always helps. Talk to someone, it'll always get better. That's what we tried to portray. And you've had the homeless storyline, which was amazing. Now Nico's back in town. What can you tell? Are you worried for your? Are you going to be back in the bunker? I really hope I'm not back in the bunker because that was grim. Um, but Perry should definitely be afraid of Nico. She's not a character you'd want to hang around with. So Perry should definitely be afraid. Have you had any scenes with Persephone, or is that too much of a spoiler? Too much of a spoiler. <laughs> I can't reveal too much. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't.